It's time to fire this thing up. Take a look at the condition of the furniture that's on this pontoon boat. It is falling apart, literally, over time. And Bert, kind of show everybody these countertops, how warped they are. That was plywood. Unfortunately, it wasn't marine grade plywood. Okay, and that's what happens when things get rained on and when dew and condensation comes into the boat. Hey, well, good deal you made it. Hi, I'm John Graviscus. This is Bert Dell. Say hello, everybody. Bert, it's great to have you back on the boat. What we're in is our 22-foot crest pontoon boat. We keep this up here in the Adirondacks, and this is a very muddy, sandy type of region of the country. You see all the mud that's on this vinyl floor, okay? And these are like seen pieces of vinyl where we have these little bridges here. And man, does that trap the dirt and does that trap the leaves. Well, what I wanna do today here on the program is I would like to remove all of this furniture I'd like to remove the vinyl flooring, and I want to add a new type of decking material called Puff Coat. Don't pull up anchor. Ship Shape TV will be right back. Introducing boating's number one non-skid, Tough Coat Marine by Tough Coat, the ultimate in rubberized non-skid. Perfect for flawed boat decks and weather dock or deck treads. Do-it-yourselfers rejoice. This water-based decking material runs ballpark just a buck sixty per square and can be rolled or sprayed onto decks and docks that need traction and beautification. Hide seams, flaws, and cracks fast with the number one recycled rubberized non-skid on the market. 18 colors, including whale or blue, to choose from. Find Tough Coat Marine at these retailers or go to toughcoatmarine.com. Welcome back. This is a real working 28 acre boat yard slash boat building facility residing in Stewart, Florida. It's Shipshape TV's home base. Ideally located, the complex is situated on the shores of the Okeechobee Waterway, which happens to connect the Atlantic Ocean to the Gulf of Mexico. Now once again, here's the founder and host of Shipshape TV, John Graviscus. Thanks, Buck. We want to do a makeover to our 22-foot pontoon boat today here at Ship Shape TV. And what we've done since the break is we've gone ahead and we've taken the boat over to the ramp here at Tupper Lake. It's about 10 miles from the house. We loaded it up on the trailer and we brought it here. Okay, we got a real long driveway through the woods and I want to do all the work here in my driveway. And in just a little bit, we're going to start de-rigging. Okay, we're going to take off that furniture and everything else. But I want to introduce you to this man right over here. This is Bill Duffel. Hi, Bill. Hi, John. Thanks for having me. Thank you for coming by. Bill is the president of a company called Tough Coat. And if you've ever been at a water park, chances are, okay, you've actually put your feet, you've walked on this man's material. It has incredible non-skid, okay? And Bill, thank you for coming by. I want to talk a little bit about your product as an option for a deck on a pontoon boat. Currently, my vinyl is stained. It's got seams in it that's holding dirt like crazy. And we're here in the Adirondacks, okay? There's a lot of dirt, there's a lot of rock, there's a lot of mud that just tracks on the boat. I don't have water down at the dock. This is very remote, okay? And so I, I, I don't wanna go with carpet, okay? That's gonna hold dirt. I don't wanna go with vinyl with seams, again, that holds dirt. You could hypothetically, man, you could coat the entire plywood deck on this pontoon boat with this, with this ultra tough product that you make, okay? And I wouldn't have any seams. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. It's a it's a roll on or spray on product. Uh, it's uh, very flexible. What, what what do you call this color right here? Because I'm I'm actually thinking about using this color. That's our sand color. Sand. Okay. Now now this has incredible traction on a barefoot or you know with deck shoes or something like that. What's in this that gives you that traction? We use recycled rubber granules. Uh, we actually have uh, taken recycled tires and had them ground to our specifications. You're we kidding me. Use that in the darker colors. So this isn't going into a landfill. This is going onto the deck of your boat. You bet. We're recycling. Man, that's awesome. And then we take from manufacturing, uh, they take, and instead of them throwing away their excess rubber, 
we actually purchase it from them and have it ground our specifications. And this is what gives you the traction. How, how ingenious to, to sit there and to, and to reuse this. Now, I see a whole lot of color here on the table on these samples. How many different color choices would somebody have with this product? We have 20 standard colors. Okay. Now, I have a what? Plywood substrate. This, the, the, the deck on my pontoon boat is plywood. How well is this material going to hold onto wood? Because here in the Adirondacks, in the summertime, it can get hot. And in the wintertime, man, can it get cold. There's going to be a lot of heating. There's going to be a lot of expansion, a lot of contraction. Is this going to hold onto the wood, or could it possibly lift or split or anything like that? How, how tough is this? Uh, it's extremely durable. Uh, it's very flexible also, so it's going to handle the, the constant temperature changes, the, the contraction of the cold, the expansion of the heat. Uh, it's going to span small cracks on your wood or fiberglass or, or on your aluminum. Check this out. Here's some tough coat on diamond plate aluminum. Okay, if you've got an aluminum boat, we've got a 16-foot aluminum craft up here. Okay, or maybe you've got an aluminum work boat. Okay, you could put the tough coat on that material. You might have a pressure-treated wood dock where you want to treat the tread. Show, show them that little display right there. Yeah, we took, a, we took some wood that came off of an old dock that we found laying out by the water and actually did a little mock-up, but uh, we do docks all over the country. What it does, it keeps the moisture from, from penetrating back through the top surface and it prolongs the life of your dock. Uh, okay, you okay, let's, let's get into, I, I, I like this, okay? Um, I don't like the seams that are on my current vinyl type of decking, okay? Holds a lot of dirt. I'm not really keen on the idea of up here in the Adirondacks where there's a lot of gravel in the soil, there's mud, there's dirt carpet for me on this pontoon boat. And a lot of pontoon boats are carpeted. Okay, I, I don't want that. But let's just talk price. Okay, how, how much would marine carpet run me for a pontoon boat per foot versus this ultra tough? Well, carpet's about four to six dollars a square foot plus the glue. Uh, this material is going to cost you about $1.60 to $1.85 a square foot, depending on the shipping. How well does it hold up to that sand and that mud and that abrasion and the sun? Okay, salt water. How, how well does it hold up? Oh, it's excellent. It's non-porous, uh, so, the, so the mud and the, and the dirt and the spills will not soak into the material. Where could a boater maybe buy this? Uh, you can get it at Overton's, Bass Pro Shops, Cabela's or you can call us and buy it factory direct. Do you have a website? Yes, it's ultratuff.net, U-L-T-R-A-T-U-F-F.net. Fantastic, Bill, thank you so much. Hey, we need to kind of de-rig our pontoon boat, and I need you to stick around because we've got to apply some material. And that means we're going to have to get rid of the, uh, the steering from the boat. We're gonna have to remove the gauges. We're going to have to take out the control. I wanna get rid of that center console. I do not like it. We've got a lot of furniture that we need to remove and this is gonna take us a little bit of time to get it down to the point of that vinyl. We gotta strip that vinyl too. So what I wanna do is real quick, try to pay the bills around here. Let's go to break. But when we come back, let's take a look at some options in fiberglass center consoles. We'll cover it right after this. Welcome back. You're tuned into ShipShape TV, America's favorite boat improvement show. Here is the fiberglass center console that we decided to go with for the pontoon boat. Welcome back. We spent about six hours, four guys, six hours de-rigging the pontoon boat. We literally put all of that waterlogged wood cord furniture into a massive pile onto the driveway. We had to get the gates off, we had to get the pedestals out, and that vinyl decking, the glue exposed, was so strong that as we were peeling it up, you know, we're using floor scrapers and everything, but chunks of plywood decking were coming up with the glue, okay? So I had to make a decision. Do I want to spend a couple of days removing all this adhesive and then putting in putties to fill in the deck, because I need to have a solid deck to work from, or might I spend about 150 bucks and maybe put on a new sheet of 3 8 inch plywood? And that's the route that I went with. And thank goodness we have Bill Duffel on the program. And Bill, in his former life, was an expert carpenter. And man, did we use, we got some really nice tight seams, yes. okay, with the new decking. And we sc screwed it down. It had a lot of glue to, to work with, so it's not going anywhere. <laughs> but we need to apply your product. Where do we begin? 
Well, first we need to uh, put on the CP10 primer. Uh, what this is, it's a, it's a water-based primer, so it's, it's environmentally friendly and it's real simple to use. And we would take a, uh, just a conventional roller, a nine-inch roller, and we'll uh, put it in a tray and we'll roll it over the, over the surface of the, uh, of the plywood and it'll now, soak in. Now, the primer is uh, designed to uh, bite into the wood and also to get the top coat to bite into it. Exactly. Okay, it's, it's tying things together. Exactly. Okay, but you, you absolutely have to have the primer, Yes, right? it's giving you your penetration. It's, it's biting into the wood for you. It's about 70 degrees today. It is raining a little bit. Okay, that's why we brought the boat underneath the barn. Okay, and we're going to have to do all these projects underneath the barn. We don't want rain kind of getting into the surface of our, of our project here. How long is it going to take in 70 degrees for this stuff to kick? Uh, approximately four hours. Um, you know, it's better in sunlight, but if you've got a humid day like this, it'll take about four hours. All right, you also so. want to make sure that you catch those edges. Okay, catch the, the edges of that plywood too. We want to seal it off from any water, and this is epoxy based, and it's going to work. You bet. Okay, now... Is the actual Ultra Tough, this, this is the product, this is going to be our new decking, is this a two-part product as well, or is this a single-part product? This is a single component, water-based. It's got, the rubber granules are actually in the material. So we'll take a, uh, we'll take a, dr a drill and a uh, squirrel cage mixer, right. and you'll just put it inside, you'll stir it up for approximately a minute, minute and a half, till it's fully suspended. All right. And then we'll take and pour it into a tray. And then you can either use one of our rollers. These are a special roller we had made for us. It's an open cell foam roller, so it actually picks up the rubber granules as you roll them onto the surface. Right. What if you want a more uniform surface? You don't want any roll lines. You don't want any, any roller marks in, into your finish. Well, what we use is a hopper gun. It's a very simple tool that you would pour the material into here. You attach your air hose to here. And what you will do just under low pressure, you would just point this down at the surface, pull the trigger, and just put on a nice even coat. How many coats of the material do we need to apply to have a good non-skid uniform surface? Uh, two coats is, is usually adequate. Uh, your first coat you'll put down thin, basically a tack coat. As soon as that dries, probably within an hour or so, you can go back over and put your second coat on. How long until we can actually walk onto our new deck? Uh, usually the next day. Real quick, give everybody one last time your website. It's ultratuff.net, U-L-T-R-A-T-U-F-F.net. Ship Shape TV will be right back. Welcome back aboard. Fishing for boat improvements? Well, you caught it right here at Ship Shape TV. What you're looking at is a beautiful, crisp autumn morning out here in the Adirondack Park. Well, welcome back. We have successfully applied a new decking material onto the deck of our 22-foot Crest Pontoon Boat. And it's looking absolutely beautiful. We're ready to start putting on the new center console, the new furniture, and that's going to be in next week's program, but we have a couple of people that we need to thank for this week's program, like Bill Duffel from Tough Coat. We also need to thank our friends over at Marine Surplus for that new fiberglass center console. CNM helped us out with the making of that console. My guys, like always, worked real hard, but most importantly, that's right, we need to thank you. Thanks so much for hanging out with us right here on the beautiful, foggy waters of the Adirondacks for the last half hour. But we've got to go, but how about this? How about until we see each other again, can you do yourself a favor? Can you get out there and make your boat ship shape? Of course you can. I'm John Graviscus. We'll see you next time. For your behind the scenes look of what happened to me the week on the set, find us and friend us on Facebook. Introducing boating's number one non-skid, Tough Coat Marine by Tough Coat, the ultimate in rubberized non-skid. Perfect for flawed boat decks and weather dock or deck treads. Do-it-yourselfers rejoice. This water-based decking material runs ballpark just a buck sixty per square and can be rolled or sprayed onto decks and docks that need traction and beautification. Hide seams, flaws, and cracks fast with the number one recycled rubberized non-skid on the market. 18 colors, including whale or blue, to choose from. Find Tough Coat Marine at these retailers or go to toughcoatmarine.com.